What up, world? It's your boy, Sky. Broadcasting live. Back at it again. Going for a walk in nature. In the complex. You know, bunches of cars out here. It looks like everybody is inside. Because there's nobody outside except one. I see a maintenance worker. And that's it. I see one person. They're going into their house. And I hear somebody in their car right now. But that's cool, that's okay. You know what I'm saying? Just stating, I'm just being observant. You know what I'm saying? So, my point is, is that like, it's not really a community atmosphere out here, to be real with y'all. Like, life turned out to be so different. Some realizations that I have, you know, very few people will understand where I'm coming from with some of this. And some of the people, will understand it just on a different kind of frequency level or whatever but you'll get the message the picture but yeah like life is life you know i don't know what the magic secret is i thought i came here just to breathe just to be alive you know for real for real <laughs> and that's the biggest thing that got us worried about is money all the time i don't have no problem with money i love a whole lot of money and at the same time i'm not out here to be stressing out over making no dollars why would you want to sell yourself just to make some money just for a chain just for some material possessions internally you know you don't you know truthfully you know you don't that's why i don't <laughs> but many people are living a lie literally many people are living a lie and that's where the masses go that's where all this competition ego based type of living comes from is from people competing for likes and followers and dollars and money and everything and it really be going on for real for real you know but for me I have, I'm just myself. That's what I have to bring to the table. People say, what do you do? What do you do? You know, what do you do? What do I do? I breathe. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my mentor, Infinite Waters. You know, talking about breathing in that good ass prana. It's true. For real. Like, honestly. You, there's infinite amount of stuff to do in this world. I can play basketball. Anybody can play basketball. We can play any sport, all the hundreds of sports there are, we can do that. We can be a personal trainer. We can be a worker, you know, inside of a factory. We can be a server for anything, for food, for, you know, for delivery, for, uh, you can be a lifeguard, a swim coach. You can be an actor, actress. You can be so much stuff. Like the list, you already know the list goes on. This is about the hundreds of stores, hundreds of different fast food chains and restaurants and regular stores and just all the infinite amounts of services and stuff out there. It's all out there, you know what I mean? And for me, I just feel like I'm just, my purpose is just to be me. You know what I'm saying? Just to be myself you know i love peace and tranquility the talents i have i'm good with you know connecting with people in harmonious ways respectable ways peaceful tranquil ways ways you know what i'm saying i'm very calm you know in my truest nature i'm very calm and peaceful i'm good with animals you know what i'm saying i'm just a calm chill kind of guy natural tranquil kind of guy you know what i mean I'm good with that whole meditation, yoga, yogi type of vibes, you know, that's who I am. That's, I have infinite amounts of talents. I have several many compliments about how I'm good with people, I'm funny, so that's part of the talents. I'm very creative, I'm a left-handed person, you know, I'm a loving guy, thoughtful guy, a deep guy, I love writing, you know, so that's that. You know what I'm saying? That's good enough. And from then on, it's like, I'm looking to expand and just connect with more people as I connect within myself. You know, because like, 
that's the ultimate truth. You know what I mean? Connection within ourselves to connect with others. You know, like they don't teach us this in school at all. I'm not even going to what they teach us. You learn this the hard way, you know, and I can say it truthfully, you know, I've worked in numerous jobs at such a young age too, and I kept leaving for the same reason, to try to get $1 higher wage or a, a couple dollars higher in wage and then to keep going on the same cycle to realize that, hey, yeah, money's important. At the same time, it was it isn't the source of my happiness. It can add to it, it adds to it. And at the same time, I kept leaving because I didn't resonate with the environment because I wasn't really doing the task with the whole heart. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I was giving everything, but was I happy? No, I wasn't happy because, you know, you're in a, a job, you know what I'm saying? Like people can make it work, that's cool. But I'm saying up to now, I made the best of it and I wasn't supremely happy up in, up in any of the jobs I've ever worked at. I did what I had to do, you know? It wasn't the manager's fault, it wasn't the boss's fault, it wasn't anybody's fault but my own. I put, I chose to work there. I chose to use that mean, I chose to earn that money. You know what I mean? There, in those positions, and it's all right, you know? And I, I'm grateful to have gone through that to learn what I don't want to be around and what I'm here to prevent from being in my life, you know, because you got to think about the long run. It's different people in the world, you know? There's some people that they're going to be in and out fast, you know what I'm saying? Those are, you know, I'm not going to call it no names at all, but those are the people that, you know, early on, everybody's trying to be like, they're super popular, famous, and then they die tragically by getting shot or something tragic, you know, fast, early, early years, early 20s, whatever, and they're just gone, you know, and truth be told, truth be said, usually that was just a, a self-fulfilling prophecy, usually most of those people, well, honestly, all of them had karma to face, you know what I'm saying, like, if you're out here doing evil stuff continuously throughout your whole life, this karma is going to come back to you, you know, but when you're actually growing, evolving, improving your life like I am, then you have some more graceful karma and you pace yourself to live a long life, a life of longevity, you know, and that's what I'm understanding as well. So you have the fast, quick fix type of people that wants all the attention, all the fame and glamour and everything, but they die and they're out of here real fast. Then you have the people who are kind of like, you know, they just, they, they live for a while, but they, they mentally are gone and they lose, they don't have any mental freedom at all, even physical freedom, you know, and they just think they, they're supposed to be a tough guy, a hard guy, you know, an evil villain, they think that's cool, and you never really see those people ever again. Then you have other people who, you know, are like on a complete contrast of you. And there may not be much deep stuff to really relate about, relate with, but they're still there. Then there may be some other people that there is a culture, like a, a so-called resonance there, you know, but like, there's still some barriers, there's still some borders, there's still some, you know, just stuff in the way. And then you finally have the rare amount of people, your actual vibe, tribe of people that really get you, you know, get, they get you for you. And that's very rare, that's really your family, you know what I'm saying? And everybody's not your family, to be honest. I know it would be awesome to say that, you know, to hold everybody's hand and have everybody under this tree with me, but the reality is that's not what's happening at all that's not what's happening you know i'm already saying it from experience i've had i've been i've been under some extreme circumstances and some of these people literally don't care at all what you're going through you could be the nicest most sweetest kindest person going through the hardest times and some of these people won't care at all they won't care at all i promise you on everything you can not have eaten for many days you can have no money. You can have been through 
insane relationships and you want to open up an event and ask for help for some of these people and they won't even care. They won't even listen. They won't even look at you in your face.